Hey, let's take a look at five fun things you can do in Python with GitHub Copilot. What's GitHub Copilot? It's basically an AI-powered pair programmer that sits inside your editor and gives you suggestions for lines of code or even entire functions. You can imagine it being a programmer sitting by your side, giving you suggestions and ideas as you're coding. And it's powered by drawing from insights from a lot of existing code. So let's jump in. I'm in VS Code and I've installed the GitHub Copilot extension. And I want to become financially independent by making some savvy investments in cryptocurrency. And then I'll have more time to do good deeds and wonderful things in the world. Why not? So let's try and use Copilot to give us some insight on how to do that. Maybe we give it a good comment. Get cryptocurrency prize data. So it's useful for our future selves. What are we doing? Generally good practice, but also useful for GitHub Copilot. So, okay, it's giving us a suggestion. That's a lot of stuff going on. Maybe I press Control Enter and see what other suggestions Copilot might be giving me. Okay, uh, let's see. The second one looks good to me. And voila, we get all this stuff. Basic API request with um, return data. So let's see if that works. And we'll print the result, the data that gets re returned to us in USD. And let's run that. Oh, there we go. So we get the current price from this API of Bitcoin, $49,000. Wonderful. So we've made some savvy investments and um, we're rich now. Beautiful. With our newfound wealth, we can move to our dream city. Um, to figure that out, we might want to know some things. Maybe the weather would be something good to know about our dream destination. So let's see if we can get the weather with Copilot. I want to get weather for city with weather bit being um, a nice provider. Okay, so we get a suggestion as well. Perfect, it probably works. Possibly that as well. Let's go with the suggestion. Except this key, um, you might want to create your own key. I've got this throwaway key. And just check in there, see what happens. Get weather. New York, too rainy, too cold. Miami might be nice. What are we getting there? Something it's working. Let's see what we get when we print it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We're getting the temperature now. Looks like a good place to go to. Fantastic, so we've got our cache, we've got our dream city. So maybe we want to design a house. Let's roll our house. Okay, so what do we get? Come on, Copilot. And control enter, get some suggestions. Oh, that looks like a lovely house, doesn't it? Let's see. Oh, amazing. That's exactly the house I want. Minimalist, pure, and perfect. So we've designed a house now with our location decided. So what can we do next? We've got plenty of free time. Maybe we have more time to read. Okay, so I've got plenty of PDFs to catch up on. Why don't we create a little PDF reader to take it into raw text format? Perfect, that's a nice idea. Great, and then we just say PDF to text, I think. What do we get? Copilot is working on it. Giving us, whoa, that's a heavy solution. Well, maybe this is nice already. Apply to PDF, that looks familiar, that looks nice. All right, return text. Great, let's give that a try. I've got a test file available already. So we can just say PDF to text, test PDF and that should work. Oh, amazing. We've got the text parsed straight from there. Uh, empirically grounded technology forecasts and the energy transition, it's called. It's a beautiful paper. Makes it very clear that we can save collectively between 14 and $26 trillion, even ignoring 
the impact of climate change mitigation if we focus on a fast transition to renewable energy. It's just financially the sensible thing to do. Well, I'm inspired, let's save the world, with uh, investment into renewable energy. Okay, so I will start emailing from my luxurious apartment all the people that are movers and shakers in my life. Um, but are those emails valid? Well, we can use regular expressions to do that. They're often a headache. Why don't we use Copilot to help us out there as well? So we can check if email is valid. Let's give that a try. It is valid email. That's what it was suggesting us. Okay, import regular expressions. Great, that makes sense. Oh, a beautiful regular expression. That seems exactly right. So if it's an alphanumeric piece before the app, app symbol uh, afterwards we need to have a dot and then something else as well okay so let's then use it check am i going to send my email extolling the virtues of renewable energy to the right address okay joe at whitehouse.gov is that a legit email um, call the right method maybe and we'll get it True. Great. Well, it's a valid email. Must be right then. So here we have it. Quick little explorations in GitHub Copilot in Python. You can use it to call APIs to get things like currency prices or weather. We can design things, draw a house as we did, design an entire house in just a few taps of the key. We can do something a bit more advanced, like read PDFs as text, and remove some headaches from our lives, such as complicated but common regular expressions, for example, and much, much more. We can get into machine learning, all kinds of stuff. So hopefully that was fun, gets you a little bit inspired to try it out yourself. If you enjoyed it, do give the video a like and feel free to subscribe. See you next time.